Hi everyone, I'm Sarah Webb, children's writer and creative writing teacher. And I'm here to present a new series of creative bursts in association with Molly, the Museum of Literature Ireland, which is a beautiful, beautiful museum on St. Stephen's Green. And I do hope you'll get to visit it one day very soon. So I always like to start my creative writing workshops with a quote by Roald Dahl, one of my favourite quotes. And he said, watch the world with glittering eyes. Those who don't believe in magic will never find it. This week's theme is Begin Again, a good one for January, I think. And it's inspired by Brendan Kennelly's poem, Begin. I'd like to read you the opening of Brendan Kennelly's poem. And thank you to Blood Axe Books for um, allowing us to include it on our downloadable activity sheet, which goes with this workshop. You can find that on the Molly website, which is molly, M-O-L-I dot I-E. Begin by Brendan Kennelly. Begin again to the summoning birds, to the sight of the light at the window. Begin to the roar of morning traffic all along Pembroke Road. Every beginning is a promise, born in light and dying in dark. Determination and exaltation of springtime, flowering the way to work. It's a wonderful poem and as I said, do look it up, the full poem on the downloadable sheet. So let's get writing and play with some ideas and some writing and drawing. So I hope you have a pen and paper ready because you will need it or even better a creative burst notebook. I'm a big fan of notebooks. Here are some of mine. <laughs> I have lots and lots of them that I've kept over the years. One of my favourite kind of notebooks is a yellow one with yellow pages. I really like writing and making notes on yellow pages. So what I want you to do is Write down, first of all, a list of all the type of creative things that you would like to do in January or any time during the year, whenever you're watching this. So you might want to write a story, write a poem, create your own beautiful dance, create a song, uh, create an ad, create anything you like, write a blog, write a journal entry. I'd like you to list all the different kind of creative things that you would like to do this year. Maybe drawing comes into it, painting, and uh, this week and next week we'll be doing some drawing too. So that's your first creative burst challenge. Get writing your list of all the creative things you'd like to do this year. So what's on your list? Write a haiku. Well, funny enough, we're going to do that next week. A haiku is a special type of traditional Japanese poem. What about write a comic book? That's a good one. We're going to do that with Alan Nolan soon too. <laughs> so on to our second creative burst challenge and this is openings. I'm going to give you an opening for a story and I want you to continue on that story. I love really strong openings of books. One of my favourites is from Charlotte Webb by E.B. White. Charlotte Webb Charlotte's Web is a fantastic book. The opening line is, where's Papa going with that axe? Asked Fern. Great opening. So here's your opening line. And don't worry, I'll repeat it again in a minute. Looking back, Eldrin Elder was a strange child from day one. For a start. So the name I've chosen for you to use, Eldrin Elder, has what's called alliteration in it. And that's the use of the same sound um, at the beginning of uh, the words. So my friend Mary Murphy's name has alliteration in it, Mary Murphy. And it works really well for character names. Try it. So you can create your own name instead of Eldrin Elder, if you like. You could have Evie Elder or Edwina Elder anything you like. You could have Margie Mayhem or Cornelius Crow, but try and find a, a name with alliteration in it. So I'm going to repeat the prompt again and then get writing your story. Looking back, Eldrin Elder was a strange child from day one. For a start, he... <laughs> now get writing. So 
So our third writing challenge, I love names, unusual names in books. So like Atticus Finch in To Kill a Mockingbird or his daughter, Scout. Can you think of any? How about some of the Harry Potter names? They're pretty good. Hermione Granger. Although I always thought when I first read the books, because I hadn't, the movies hadn't come out then, that it was um, Hermione. <laughs> what about China Sorrows from Skullduggery Pleasant? Derek Landy's very good at names. Um, so what I'd like you to do is to create a really knockout name for the following characters. Number one, a one-eyed dog. So for example, you could call him something like Popeye Yap, <laughs> a one-eyed dog. Number two, a gentle dragon, a really gentle dragon. Number three, a powerful but very tiny queen. What would good be a good name for a powerful but tiny queen? Number four, a robot pencil. I don't know why I'm <laughs> being all uh, like a soldier. Uh, anyway, a robot pencil. Oh, sorry, I'm being like a robot, obviously. Um, so I'll repeat these again. A one-eyed dog, a gentle dragon, a powerful but teeny tiny queen, and a robot pencil. <laughs> you could put them all in a story together and then that would be a challenge. I'm not sure what kind of story you'd have with a one-eyed dog and a robot pencil, but I bet you could do it. And you can draw pictures of each of the characters if you like too. So now get writing and also get drawing. <laughs> And finally today, I'm going to show you something, snowdrop. Now, these snowdrops have not come up yet. Do you see that? They are still growing, but this is what they will look like when they are all grown up. <laughs> so the proper name for snowdrops is Galanthus. You see it there, Galanthus. And that's what you ask for in the um, shop if you wanted to get a snowdrop, it would be Galanthus. So what I wanted you to do is to write a story about a snowdrop. Snowdrops are one of the first flowers that come up in spring. And in the language of flowers, which is this special way of communicating using flowers, they stand for hope. And I think hope is one of my favorite words in the whole world. So what I want you to do is I want you to write a story or a poem if you like, or you can draw it as a comic book or you can just draw it if you like. You're walking in the forest and you see teeny tiny snowdrops like this. But there is something or someone under the snowdrops. So imagine there are white flowers. Now, this is a, a cyclamen, this is a different type of flower, but you're walking in the forest and there's something or someone under the flower. What or who is it? What are they up to? And what happens next? you decide. So get writing. And thank you so much for joining us for Creative Bursts today. We'll be back next week with our theme, which is fireworks. So remember what Einstein said, creativity is intelligence having fun. So have loads and loads of fun with your writing and your creativity today. Thank you for joining.